Beauty and the Beast, Chapter Five, Rose's Courage. Oh, Father, he's back! Father's back! The long-awaited father has returned. He came back on a stallion, fully decorated. He had a cloak on, and the children eagerly anticipated the good news. Without a word, the merchant held out the rose. Rose, here is your gift. Unfortunately, this gift has brought us great misfortune. Everyone looked puzzled and confused. They murmured. Looking downhearted, the merchant explained what had happened. Think about it. Who would imagine becoming a prisoner for grabbing a rose from the garden? After hearing the story, they were shocked and confused. That's when Rose spoke up. It's all my fault. I shouldn't have asked for a rose. I'll go back to the castle with you, father. I'll be the beast prisoner. No, Rose. You're the youngest. I couldn't possibly send you there. No, I insist. Let me go, for everyone's sake. The merchant and Rose's sibling tried to dissuade her, but Rose's mind was made up. She even gave away her possessions to her sisters. Even her favorite handheld mirror. Goodbye, everyone. I will miss all of you. A month had gone by since the merchants returned home. After saying goodbye to her siblings, Rose left for the castle with her father. She consoled him the entire way back to the castle. You don't have to worry, father. We will be reunited soon enough. Don't worry too much. The sun started to set. They rode through the dark woods silently. All of a sudden, trees decorated heavily with all sorts of colors showed up right before their eyes. The wind had stopped too. Rose knew that they were getting close to the castle owned by a vicious beast. Rose, it's not right for you to be imprisoned. It's not too late to go home. No, it's all right, father. The castle looks enchanted. Let's go inside. Rose persuaded her father to enter the castle. Helplessly, the merchant led his daughter to the small room. The fireplace warmed the room, and the table was laden with delicious food. The dining table was once again loaded with special dishes. A dinner prepared for Rose and her father. Father. The oranges are really fresh. The scent is wonderful. You need to eat. You have not eaten all day. Don't worry about me. I can't believe I have to leave you here. I don't have much on appetite. Father. As they ate half-heartedly, the door squeaked open slowly. Heavy steps came to a halt. It was the owner of the enchanted castle. It was the beast. Beauty and the Beast. Cast: Ali Kim, Emma Kim, Hoyang Zhang. Soul Yoon, presented by the 2024 Spring Semester JCS Podcast Club.